Hey everyone, uh, I welcome you today as we continue our walk through the Westminster Shorter Catechism. Last week we talked about question seven, which is what are the decrees of God? And the decrees of God are his eternal purpose according to the counsel of his will, whereby for his glory he hath foreordained whatsoever comes to pass. This week we're going to move on to question eight, which is how doth God execute his decrees? God executeth his decrees in the works of creation and providence. Now, as we did last week, we'll start off with a few words. Think about definitions. Uh, the first one is execute. What do you think about when you think of the word execute? Uh, probably the uh, punishment for a criminal, uh, criminal acts or something. Uh, the definition is actually carry out or put into, into effect. <clears throat> Last week, we talked about decrees. We defined it as an um, order being given by a person of authority. Again, in this case, the ultimate authority being God. Uh, so how doth God execute his decrees? God executeth his decrees in the works of creation and providence. The next few questions in the Westminster Catechism actually uh, help us to define creation and providence a little better. So this week we're going to kind of take maybe a few broad strokes. Uh, I've got two verses I want to read for us to start off with. The first one is in Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. Now, many of our carpi, you should uh, recognize this work as be, verse as being our scripture memory verse for this month. Uh, hopefully you've been working on that. Um, but Revelation 4, verse 11. Worthy are you, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. And the second verse I have is from Daniel chapter 4, verse 35. All the inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing, and he does according to his will among the hosts of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say to him, What have you done? So from this, we see that God not only created the world, but he sustains it, us with his providence. Um, let's think about, put a little bit into maybe some context here. We think about creating something or creation. Think of um, building a house, for instance. Think of a, um, building it as kind of like a creation of something. Um, although we're more assembling because we already have the materials. Uh, but think of building a house. The physical building of it requires work. So work of creation, roughly. Um, but think about that as, as God's view. God created the world in six days. We create a building in weeks, months. Uh, we build it from materials we have. God created it from nothing at all in six days. And when he was done, he said it is, it is very good. Uh, we see that in um, Genesis 1. So this is just should be an amazement um, that we should realize God has no boundaries. Uh, going back to the, the building uh, example that we were, we were using, so building a house, when the building is complete, the work is still not done. You still have to maintain. You have to sustain that. So God does in his providence. Um, he continues to sustain us through the works of providence. Uh, Ephesians 1.11 says, In him we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. God chooses to work out his will through us because he wants to. Uh, God's provident doesn't, providence does not depend on us. Uh, he chooses to allow us to participate. Now, how does he do that? Uh, he does that through the actions of his people, through the prayers of his people. Think about that for a minute. Uh, if God works through the prayers of his people, what are you praying for? Um, and if you're not praying, should you be surprised when you feel that God is not working through you? And if you are praying, uh, are you praying for your desires or for God's will? If you're praying, uh, think about that. 
uh, I encourage you to, to, to think about that. St uh, seek out scripture with that. Your desires are God's will. Uh, think about those, and uh, I encourage you to pray to God. Think about those and, and seek why both of these are actually important.